Hi there, this is Abigail Adler from The Open Studio and uh, I want to go through our uh, sukkah decorating kit and explain what's in the kit um, and then there'll be individual videos for what to do for each of the projects but just so you know you come and get a kit in a big bag like this right and take out what it goes for which one so the first thing I happen to grab in my bag is our panel sukkah panel decorating um, mini kit okay so in the kit you have a piece of paper several pieces of paper actually which are templates and there's instructions there which explain what you can do you have a paintbrush actually you should have three small medium and large for different areas you have your primary colors okay and also white which you can use to lighten up and from these colors you can make any color and uh, in the links there is going to be a, um, a link to the color mixing resource sheet. So if you want to know how to make green, it's there. Um, then you also have some extra green because if you're doing seven species or outdoors flowers, something like that, you're probably going to need more green than you can make with your individual um, colors. And then you have a piece of fabric. And it's a piece of fabric for a banner. It's about the size of a pillowcase opened up. Okay, it's hard to tell because it's bigger than the screen, but it's enough and it can be hung either vertically or horizontally in your sukkah. And you want to decide how to do that before you create your design. And we'll go over that in detail later on. Okay, like I said, you also have a couple more brushes and you probably have a pencil at home, but just in case we added a pencil for you. So that is the sukkah panel decorating kit. And this is what you need for that. Up is, um, and it's in no particular order. You can do it in what order you want, but you should have a package that looks like this, which has a little bit of fabric stuffing and fabric. And this is our Lulove, our toy Lulove and Etro kit. Um, again, these are all coming in the Sucker Decorating Bundle, so you can't get each one individually, but they're packed up individually just so that you can see you know, you, you don't mix up which projects are for which. So you have your stuffing, which is gonna go inside your lulav, which is gonna be a toy that you'll hold like this. You have light green, two strips of light green felt. You have one piece of yellow felt, which is going to be for your etro. You have one piece of dark green felt, which will be for your myrtle. Um, and one piece which is uh, medium green, which is for your Myrtle Hadass Arava. Hold on, let's find out. You can always mix up the Hebrew. And then you have two pieces of paper, which are your templates. Now you're also going to need for this a sewing kit, which is going to come in the other package, which I'll go over in just a minute. You put the pieces together like this. You can tape them or line them up. And it says where to line them up. There's an arrow, top and bottom. And the lula, which is the long one right here, and it says on there, trace it twice. So I'll show you this when we get to that video, but this is what you need for all of these for this kit, or for this uh, project. And again, here's the set. You have the three different colors of felt, light, medium, and dark green, yellow for your etrog, filler, and the paper template. You'll also need a pen or um, a pencil to trace each of these onto the felt. And this is sewing fruit felt and it has the hanging uh, shapes that you can line with string. And in this, this has your sewing kit. Let me just open it and show you. And this sewing kit, the little kit with the needles and the pins, is going to be the kit you're also going to need for your Lulav and Etro. So here you have three straight pins or four straight pins and two sewing needles. So you can sew with a grown up and a child together, two children together, whatever you want. And you have a template in here, okay, which has all the different fruits on it that you might want to use to hang up from your sukkah. And the idea here is to cut out whatever shapes you want, okay, from these templates to trace them onto the right color fabric. For example, let's say you want a pear. So you're gonna cut out the pear design here and you're gonna need two, a front and a back. So you'll fold your fabric, your, your felt in half, 
okay? And trace your pair around it and then cut it so you end up with two. Then you're gonna sew it, which I'll explain more in the video that I post for that specifically. But you have green for pear, orange for orange, you have red for an apple, also if you wanna do a strawberry, uh, you have some a grape or a burgundy for grapes, I mean a purple or a burgundy for grapes. And you have some green if you wanna do leaves or um, different types of things like that. Um, that's, oh, and then you'll also have a little bit of sewing thread, which is enough actually for this and for sewing your lulav actually, okay? So that's the sewing. And then the other project that we put in together, kind of a bonus project, are these pipe cleaners. And what you do is you turn these pipe cleaners into any shape you want. I'll just do one to show you real quick. I have a heart here, let's make a heart. And they're great for sculpting. Kids can make any shape you want. If you want to make a bigger shape, you can put two together. But here, I twisted and I made a little heart. Is that good? You can do stars, you can do all kinds of things, triangles, circles, whatever you want. And then you can take string, it can be matching color or a different color, and you're gonna wrap it around a lot of times. Um, and then at the beginning and end, you're gonna take some glue, which is in another packet, which we'll pull out in just a second. So here I'm wrapping it around a few times, and I wanna put some glue on it, right there. Right there. And then wrap my string however I want, as many times as I want. I can go through my shape, I can go around the outside of my shape, whatever I want, so that I have a strong shape here, okay? Um, and then once I have the have it where I want, positioned it where I want, I'm gonna put some glue along the edge here with my finger, let it dry on some wax paper, which you have, um, and then I will be able to put a clear string inside and hang it from the soca as well, okay? So you have six or eight different pipe cleaners. You can feel free to add more from home if you have. And string, okay, so that's that project. And I'll just zoom in on this project so you can see that's what's in this bag. This is the third. Okay, so here you see all the stuff for the fruit, the sewing kit, and then a separate mini project is your string shapes. Put that aside. And the next thing you have, which might actually, some of you might already be in the thing with the felted fruit, but you have your stuffing, your pillow stuffing, which is going to be used to fill the, um, uh, the fruit when you sew it. So it's three things. And last but not least, you're going to have a bag that has a few different projects in there. This is your mosaic hot plate, your wood staining mobiles, and your glass paint. So that's three different projects. Carefully open it up and I'll explain which goes to which. So the first and the easiest is your, <clears throat> is your mosaic kit. Easy, three pieces. You have your mosaic stones, which can be cut with scissors to change shapes. If you wanna make them rectangle, you cut them in half. If you wanna make them circle, you cut the corner off of each one. Um, and you have a hot plate, which is cork. You spread your glue around a small area at a time, and again, I'll go into this later, but it's very, very simple. Small area at a time, put whatever kind of tiles, pieces, whatever colors you want down. You don't have to color, they'll cover the whole thing, but you do need to make sure that they're all flat and lying down so that when it's dry, you can put hot food on it and it's flat, it's not like bumpy, okay? So that's your mosaic hot plate. Okay, so the next project is your glass painting. And in your glass painting, you're gonna have a jar just one jar, but you can have as many as you want. Any kind of jar from home will work. You just soak it in warm water for a little while and some soap and get the label off. If it's hard to get the sticky stuff off, you can use some alcohol. Um, but you have enough to do at least three jars in your kit, and you have glass paint. You have four or five colors, depending. If you have the primary colors red, blue, and yellow, you only have three colors because then you can use the, those to make any other color. Again, use the reference sheet that's attached. So you have your glass paints, four different colors of glass paints here. You have some toothpicks, which will help you swirl the colors or paint them onto the jar. It will also help you with popping bubbles at the end. And also if they get stuck, if the paint gets stuck, you can un get it unstuck with that. And you have something that is in a jar, in a little plastic container, and it looks almost like whitish blue. That's shellac. And that's what you're gonna to use to paint with your finger or a brush from the other parts of the kit 
to go over your jar after you're done painting it to make sure the paint doesn't peel off. That's very, very important. Um, another thing in case I say this, and I forget to say this later, is when you do glass painting, the paint doesn't come out of your clothes, so make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't care about, like a t-shirt or something like that. It will come off your hands, no problem. Um, and uh, if you put this in the dishwasher, once it's painted, the paint will just all come right off. Um, so it's important we don't paint the bottom, we don't paint the top, just paint this part, right? And it's a great for a lantern, and this you can put a little tea light, a candle in there and light it. Sometimes it's hard to light it and get it in, so I take a piece of spaghetti and I light the spaghetti pasta and, um, and I use that to light it. Or you can light the candle and have a grown-up help you or have a grown-up drop it in for you, okay? And what's going to happen is the more you paint, the more the can it's going to glow. And this is great because the wind can't get in there and blow your candle out. So it's great for, for have candles around, little lanterns around inside your sukkah at night. Okay, that's the glass painting. And the last part of the family kit is our wood staining, which is really fun and easy. You have um, about eight different shapes, different pieces of wood. Um, some have stickers on them, so make sure you take off the stickers before you get started. And they should have a hole in the top and the bottom. If you're having, if you have the junior kit, not the family kit, yours are already pre-strung for you, so you don't have to string up your own. Um, so you have the different pieces of the raw wood. Uh, we have beads, a little packet of beads, some tiny, some big, that you can use for stringing, putting on the string in between the mobile. You have three pieces of, three colors of oil pastels. You're going to have a metallic, it looks like this one is a gold one, and then two uh, fluorescent ones. You have your watercolor set, and you have your chut dag in Hebrew, which is your fish wire. And that's what we're going to use to spring, string up everything. That's the Sukkah Decorating Kit. I hope you have a really great time. I'm going to post individual videos for each project. If you're wondering, I guess maybe from, let's say, least amount of supervision to most about amount of supervision to start with, I would start with easy as simple as the mosaic um, hot plate. Then you can move on to the um, wood staining, then the glass painting, uh, then you can do the sewing and the panel is also a family project you can do together. So I'll see you guys later. Please make sure that you um, subscribe to the Open Studio channel so you can see all of our videos and um, and post any pictures that you have in the comments or in uh, on Facebook on the Open Studio page and uh, look forward to seeing what you come up with. Happy Sukkot, Chag Sukkot Sameach. Take care.